What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're taking a look at Cats Down Under the Stars by the Jerry Garcia Band, specifically the intro riff. You know, this is a very iconic riff in the Garcia world, and it's super fun to play. Now, the reason why I want to do kind of like a deep dive in this riff, because depends what player you ask, they'll play this riff slightly different, you know? You have one camp that'll play it like the record, like Garcia does, and you have another camp that will play it more like people John Cadlasek would play it live themselves. So for today's video, we'll take a look at both the riffs, do a kind of a deep dive into what's going on and see how they work. So let's go. So before any deep dive, let's take a look at these two riffs. <laughs> As you can hear and see, very similar riffs. If you could describe it in a way, it's kind of like the same word, but in different fonts, you know, very similar. Let's take a look at the Garcia way first. So first, let's check out the Garcia way slowly, and then we'll do a deep dive. Check it out. <laughs> So cool. Very cool, actually. You know, very finessed, very confident riff that also relies on single notes as well as chords, you know. Like both riffs, they will both have the same intro chords, you know, this F, E minor, D minor, A minor, C, G, F to which Garcia does, descends kind of E minor pentatonic, and kind of spells out this E minor chord. To an A minor, to which kind of he hammers on and arpeggiates, And does that piece of brilliance where he comes down and hammers on to this F chord and pulls off to his C major triad. These are all three no chords. Garcia knew his triads. I talk about this all the time on the channel. Triads are key on the guitar, right? is with very signature single lines in the way he attacks, very popping, you know? Very classic Garcia, you know? All notes that are diatonic in the C major scale. So if we look at everything put together. One more time. 
more time. <laughs> last time at tempo. Effortlessly cool. Let's take a look now at version two that we know, for example, John Catalysic plays. So version two, check it out slowly. One more time slowly. So, very different, you know, very kind of pentatonic based, but still notes that are diatonic in this C kind of scale that we're in maybe. And that's interesting because it's very like, I don't know if blues derivative is the right word, but when you put it together, it kind of is. Right, so we have these same chords, you know, F, E minor, D minor, A minor, C, G, F. That indicates, like the first version, our E minor. There's our A minor. as well we kind of outline the C you know in the first version we used this that F hammer on kind of like a suspension over that C chord you know Version would keep it pretty C. So again, we're still getting the ideas of version one across, but in a much more condensed form with these single notes. Like I said in the very beginning, same word, different font. Let's check it out at tempo. One more time. So we look at version two in comparison to version one. They 
have their similarities, they have their differences. I guess in retrospect, there is no wrong way to play this riff, you know, just play it and have fun. So I guess my last question to you, the viewer, is which version do you prefer? Version one. <laughs> guys that's it for today's video let me know in the comments below which version of this cat's riff you prefer version one or version two and with all that being said hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>